right, let's do this. Thank you very much for waiting. Uh, so you're asking, how can I improve it? So I'm curious. I wonder if something changed here. I don't remember this. Because this feels like she's... Is she touching? Is she touching the surface? It seems like a weird thing where either you want to make, make it clear that she's touching this, or is she leaning on it, holding it? It seems kind of like a non-committal move. That feels a bit weird. And facially, like from here to here, there's nothing going on. I think you can improve something where she does this, right? And right when we see her, she could have a bit of an expression through here. Something that just feels a bit like there's nothing going on in her face. Only now is she suddenly finally blinking. She just feels a bit like her mouth shape is always the same. She could be looking down, looking around, you know, is she always staring? Could she be looking around and processing what's going on? I mean, you know, it could be a lot of like, oh man, what happened, what happened? And that's when, in here, that's when she stops and does this. Even on this going up, you can probably push the eyebrows a bit higher. Because you're on such a wide shot, you can push the, the facial expressions a bit more. Just through here, careful, it's a bit mechanical. Because you have the foot moving same amount, arm moving same amount, body and head. So that right through here feels very mechanical. It's like one ginormous piece that moves. It's cool. I like that. It gets a bit IK right at the end because the wrists are stuck in the same position. There's a rotation, but I don't know why they're stuck so high. So they're kind of frozen in space. So I will keep those, go down with them. And then you always cheat, right? They can always be lower here. And then you can bring them up so that they're not kind of, they're also not stuck through here. Oh, so this seems new unless. Unless I'm forgetting something. So what's weird about this is that A, just physically, it's too fast. That move forward is too fast. But the thing is, especially with this speed, the energy doesn't match the uh, tone of voice. And it's like at this point, I want to see something in here. I want, that's why we're going close, because you want to read the face. So now with all that movement, you're kind of not seeing the face clearly enough. It makes it more... Uh, a mechanics shot, which is that's what you had here. So I would actually not do that and really concentrate on the facial performance to get to there. And also her hands, all that stuff comes it's a bit post to post. It kind of come to a stop at the same time. And it's right before we cut out, basically. And then here towards the last couple of frames, there's no animation. So you'll have to continue some keep alive, compression on the fingers, the way it kicks in, maybe all this drops a bit while the fingers stay put, uh, stuff like that. Then, no face, no hands, no offsets, just placement. I don't have a story yet. I didn't really know how to start it, but after going through different takes and poses is what I like the most. That's a tricky thing. If you, you don't have a story, I didn't really know how to start. Um, I'm not sure, you know, that's not the right way to go about it. You're gonna be stuck with the shot like this for a while. I can't let this happen. I will not allow it. I mean, look at these people. It just seems very posy. I can't let this happen. Like, that could be. Like, I like that because then you have a lot of head accents and just facial stuff. This happened. I... But then you have eye and you're pointing towards yourself. Like, you you shouldn't really point out, uh, act out words. Will not allow... So then you have gesture, gesture, ge look and gesture. It's just a lot of stuff. Happen. I will not allow it. That. I will keep that. Just allow it. I mean, look at these. And again, I'm not sure if you need this because there's nothing to look at. I know you might add something later, but pointing is always kind of a default thing. I mean, look at these people. He could just, the thing is, he can just look. What I would do is instead of that and then point is this with a little bit of a step, a side step, turn. Looks over, comes back. Whoops. So when he comes to here, he actually took a step forward. So he's actually now a lot bigger in frame. No pointing. And then he goes, I mean, look at these people. And it's this big thing. And then you can, you can get a clearer read on his face. So you're using depth in the scene. Because the, the common thing is to just have a person standing 
presenting in an empty room uh, and not moving around. And it's basically, whoops. It's basically, you know, he never takes any steps. There's something in here, but you can push that a lot and get that character a lot closer to camera just to give it more um, contrast. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.